Motivation is often perceived as elusive, while discipline stands as the true driving force. As a disciplined individual, I continue to train even when I don't feel like that thing. Life doesn't always allow us to do solely what we enjoy, and that's where personal responsibility comes in. This brief video might ignite a spark of motivation, but that won't last forever. To maintain progress, it's crucial to establish systems as well as cultivate discipline. Surround yourself with individuals who hold you accountable and challenge you to avoid remaining stagnant. This support will help you transform your life, otherwise, you'll stay nobody. You're tired. You have no desire to work. You want to sleep and take it easy. That is the most basic rule of the masculine frame, which has been broken in real time. It is trying to tell you that you should act how you feel, show more of your feelings if you feel this way, and cry if you want to. The reason behind encouraging emotional expression is that most of the time, we don't feel like doing what we should. However, the true masculine frame throughout history was doing the things they didn't want to, but in their mind, they knew they had to do those things because they had honor and duty. Take the men on the Titanic, for example. They didn't want to remain on the sinking ship, but knew they had to, out of duty and honor. They were responsible for ensuring the safety of women and children, helping them onto the lifeboats. This selfless act is a prime example of traditional masculine values. Duty is essential for a good man who maintains self-control and emotional discipline. I have absolute emotional self-control. As a man, it's crucial to recognize that there are guiding principles you must follow, regardless of your emotional state. Whether you wake up feeling terrible, sad, sore, or stressed, you should still complete the same tasks as if you had started the day in high spirits. Your emotions shouldn't influence your actions or commitments. I commit to fulfilling my duties each day, not only for myself, but also for my bloodline. You may think there's something wrong with you, like lacking motivation to hit the gym. Here's a reality check. I didn't always have motivation, but I still pushed myself. So now, what's your excuse? It's normal to feel fear, like being scared to step into the ring or the cage. I felt that too, but I still face those challenges head on. Being a man isn't about being insensitive, it's about taking action regardless of how you feel. As men of action, we accomplish tasks and create progress. This is how the world has been built. Even the men who constructed skyscrapers faced fear, yet they persevered. To become a man of action, shift your focus from your emotions to your responsibilities. I have always maintained discipline because I've consistently lived a disciplined life. I lived in a disciplined household, and I learned early on that personal desires didn't dictate my actions. Even now, if I wake up not wanting to do something, I don't need someone else to push me. I do it anyway. Who wants to run a marathon? Nobody wants to do it and you have to have blood, sweat, and tears, there is a version of the world where you can feel things and not give up on how you feel. Even when I feel sad, it doesn't have any effect on my actions or the tasks I complete. Though I don't feel like going to the gym, I go anyway. I don't feel like working, but I still work. So, you can see the significance lies in my mindset, which doesn't let emotions dictate my actions. To me, motivation seems overrated. I don't rely on motivation to do what I'm supposed to. I don't wake up excited, eager to go to the gym or work. I carry on with my responsibilities regardless of my motivation levels or feelings. I am disciplined, and I will complete tasks by all means regardless of my emotions, whether I'm in the mood or not. Discipline is enduring, while motivation is fleeting. You can't expect to be constantly motivated. If you only put an effort when you enjoy something, you're bound to fail. To succeed, you must be determined to win in all situations, not just when you're happy. You'll compete against individuals like me who perform under any circumstances, rain or shine. In contrast, if you can only give your best in favorable conditions, you'll ultimately fall short. Strive to be prepared and perform at your best all the time. Many people reach out to me struggling with motivation. 
My response is straightforward. If you can't find the motivation to avoid being a loser, it's best to accept that role and stay out of the way of those who are determined to succeed. I have no time for those who can't find the drive to improve themselves and their lives. I am the kind of person who performs consistently, regardless of my emotions or circumstances. This is the mindset you need to adopt if you want to be a winner. A man should not be overly concerned with his happiness. Instead, he should focus on his actions. Whether happy or unhappy, I will do the same things, go to the gym, and work just as hard. My feelings have no bearing on how I live my life. I believe that using happiness as a primary measure of success is not a healthy perspective for a man. If you wake up questioning your happiness, you might approach life from the wrong angle. As a man, if you shift your focus from happiness to other aspects such as success, competence, achievements, and respect, you'll likely find yourself happier without constantly assessing your emotional state. At times, it's essential to face challenges head-on and work diligently. Hard work is never detrimental. Instead, it can contribute to your overall growth and satisfaction in life. No matter what you're going through, working harder is almost always the answer. Whether you're struggling with financial issues, health concerns, or dealing with a difficult personal situation such as a breakup or losing a loved one or depression, Whatever it is, working harder is almost always the answer, so you know what you need to do, you need to do it. What's truly remarkable is that working hard can serve as an antidote to various challenges. It's similar to taking the antidote before being poisoned. If you consistently work as hard as you can and strive to become the best version of yourself each day, you prevent many problems from arising in the first place. So why not? You'll never amount to anything, so don't give up and don't get tired. That's what the enemy wants from you. They want to win a war of attrition by wearing you down and hoping you give up. But you must refuse to be that person. You are not the one who gives up easily. You're the guy who keeps going. No matter what you're trying to do, if you pay attention to what's going on around you and don't give up, you become a formidable opponent.